Hey, you guys, this is your girl, Coach Ebony Nicole, the Vice President of the Rochester Black Authors Association. And we are here for another amazing episode of the Black Authors Rock podcast. As always, make sure if you are viewing this on YouTube to subscribe to the video or to our channel, like the video, share it, comment, ask any questions, and we'll be sure to answer them. If you are watching this on Facebook, make sure you share, comment, and like. And if you are listening to through Spotify and or Anchor, make sure that you tune in and make sure that you subscribe to our channel, all right? Because we don't want you to miss this amazing author plus the ones to come, and we want you to follow up with the ones that have already been interviewed. If you are if you are an author, an inspiring author, and you want to connect with us and be on the Black Authors Rock podcast, I forgot what it was called for a minute. <laughs> be on with us. Make sure you tune us, uh, stay until the end, and I will give you the information you need so that you can join us here. But all of that to the side, we have a new author here, you guys, and I want Miss Ashley to go ahead and introduce yourself and let people know who you are and where you are from. So I am Ashley Nicole, writer slash poet. I am from Columbia, Tennessee, but I'm now in Charlotte, North mm -hmm. Carolina. Okay, question. Nicole, were you born in the 80s? No. No, really? Because everybody in the 80s, middle name was Nicole. I got a friend, <laughs> Nicole, um, Marie Nicole. It's just like, and I'm Ebony Nicole. And we're all born in like, well, my one friend, she's born in late 70s. And the rest of us born in the 80s. So. Well, 90s, so. Well, you close all these, like, was that, I think Nicole was like the common name. It was the name, yes. <laughs> so awesome. We are amongst great company with Nicole's middle name. So tell me about how you began your journey as an author. So I actually started writing about four years ago, four mm -hmm. or five years ago. So like, all the the um stuff that's in my book right now are the things that I wrote back then and I just went back and I like, redid them you know yeah. and added stuff to them took some stuff out or whatever but yeah so you just you had already pre-written everything like in journals mm -hmm. and notebooks and mm -hmm. you to write to gather the content for your book yes okay let me tell you how amazing that is because I tell people I, when they when they don't they're not quite ready to write a book, you can blog and your blogs can become a book at a later date. Mm -hmm. Or if you're already blogging, you can take that content and put it in a book. If you have journals and notebooks like you have, put it in a book. Easy peasy. Tell us about <laughs> the first book. Okay, so it's actually like I have it right beside me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> always be ready with the book <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a I journal so mm -hmm. well i made it a journal so it's a journal and it has my poetry in it but it has writing prompts that are like self-evaluation prompts and mm -hmm. then it has affirmations in it see listen we would encourage you to, to take what you have previously written and put it into a journal you said what encouraged me yes um and my initial thought was nobody i don't know anybody who has done this it's like a lot of people have poetry yeah. books but they don't have it where you can write in it yeah so yeah. i was like let me make it something you can write in it also and then that way it's not all about me and you're not all in my business <laughs> but we can talk about you too <laughs> that's pretty good because you're you're giving them space to lay out their own thoughts Mm -hmm. about either what you have written or um with the journal prompts so they can lay out their own thoughts and clear their own head and evaluate what it is that your questions are leading them to do so so that's pretty darn awesome so who would be the person that inspired you besides not a, not being able to find a journal that you wanted to use for yourself but who inspired you or what inspired you to go ahead and, and share your work? Ooh, I don't really, 
I'm going to say this. So I had this supervisor, right? And she was a writer also. And she told me one day, she was like, well, you know, there is not much money, you know, in doing poetry. So I was like, okay. And I kind of let that sit with me for a while. And then I was like, wait a minute. You didn't make any money doing that poetry. Whole part. I'm like, mm, I don't really know how true that yeah. is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I let that sit with me for a while. And I was like, no, you're going to do this. Because mm-hmm. there, there's money in writing. You just have to get in front of people who can receive your words and pick up your book at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so when you... And this is one thing I want authors to aspiring authors, as well as authors now who are maybe just new to the industry or you've been in it for a long while. And maybe sometimes things come up that kind of stifle you. But other people's opinion of what works and what does not work is not something you should keep uh, allowed to hinder you in your journey. Mm-hmm. Because if it didn't work for them. Doesn't mean it doesn't work for you. I mean, it's it just, we are all on our own journey to be, to becoming authors and doing author things beyond just writing, but it always, you, it's, the risk is always there, but yeah. if it works, if it didn't work for them, doesn't mean it can't work for you. And if it doesn't work for you, doesn't mean it can't work for someone else. So I think people like that have to be careful because just like you, it kind of stuck with you. That could have been a lifelong hindrance and this journal could not have come to fruition if that if her words would have stuck with you for the mm-hmm. course of your life. So I encourage any author, just do it. You have nothing to lose. Just do it. You don't. So even if it's not for the money, you know, whatever, don't even do it for the money. Just yeah. do it just because <laughs> cause you can. Absolutely, because you can. And the thing is, when you do it, if money is your drive behind it, then your marketing has to be on point hands down you got to be marketing 12 months in advance and letting people know what you're doing because so that you can start moving these books right but if you are just the average american aspiring author you can still make money but you would you would you would have to do what you need to do is have a plan beyond the book Think about what it is you want to do beyond a book. Do you want to do a conference, do group coaching? Do you want to build a speaker, a speaking platform? Whatever it is that you want to do with your book, you got to make sure that's being constructed while you're writing. So that way, when you launch your book, you're now launching not only your book, but you're also launching some platform or product or service. So Mm -hmm. for you, what are you doing in addition to your book? Because I asked that because this is the year of the entrepreneur or the authorpreneur rather. And we are looking you know, to figure out what else can authors do besides just author. So what is it that you're doing in addition to being an author? First of all, I should have found you as a mentor before <laughs> launching the book. So I could have had all this stuff in order. You got it now, girl, you got it now. It's never too late, it's never too late. You can always start. You can always, your book is already out there. Now you need to figure out what it is you can do in addition to your book. Depending on the content that's in there, do offer coaching. I'm a writing coach and publishing engineer. I became so because I saw there was a need for what I do. And I feel Mm -hmm. the need. This is how people start businesses. You see a gap. Like like this, and I got. So you see That's a gap. Funny. Look, I have one too. <laughs> Come on, team gap. You see a gap. You see a void. You see something is missing. Don't dwell on the problem. Become the solution. And so I saw the problem with other Christians wanting to write books, but they didn't know where to start, how to do it, all this stuff. This stuff. Mm-hmm. I I know how. Coaching. So think about that. But in addition okay. to to um. Getting your book, what else are you doing? As of now, I do, um, I will go to some shows and do like the open mics and stuff. So <laughs> I make sure I bring my book. But yes. I've also hosted my own. So that went well. It was like a um, album release slash um, book signing. So I also made an album to go with the book. Yep. I, I've known a lot of poets to do that, which I think is so dope. Because people, if people can hear you, and speak then they'll be able to hear you when they read your words Mm -hmm. so that's so dope okay i'm gonna ask 
can you bless us with something from the book or off the cuff of your, your just off the cuff? <laughs> something that's on the spot. No, -uh, no smiling. No, no, no. Off the cuff. I see the I know the uh the the nervous laugh and smile. I know it, okay. For those who are watching, you probably caught it as well. <laughs> but no, I'm on the spot, either from the book or some other poetry if you've done, or if something just pops in your head and you want to free flow. Okay. If it's I'll free do one flow, from let us book. know. If it's free flow? I do one from the book. Okay, one from the book. Okay, I'm going to say, if it's free flow, we get exclusive right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get hyped. Like, yo, we got an exclusive poem. But go ahead. Um, <laughs> so I don't know about any of you women, but I will not subject myself to anything other than you calling me by my name or a woman. I am a woman above everything else from the crown on my head that I did a let slip to the swish of my walk from the sway of my hips. I have the strength like no man. I do all that I can. I stand on my own two feet. So please do not flee because I have an opinion, but you can halt and be quiet and allow me to speak because I am a woman. You can hear it in the rhythm of my strong words. I demand understanding, therefore I'm not weak. I take the abuse of no one because I am a gift of substance. So you can take me as I am or watch me as I go. I come to you with peace. There's no need to hear me roar. I am a woman. A beautiful, powerful, resilient queen. What you see is not what you get. I have a whole lot in between. I am not some dog in heat seducing people with tricks or treats. My most valuable asset is my mind. And when I became conscious of my consciousness, I realized that I am a woman. So that's my I am woman piece. <laughs> a couple of things. I'm about to put on my coach hat right now. <laughs> One, you remind me of my favorite songstress slash poetess, Jill Scott. Mm, I get okay. the song, the songstress thing a lot. Like they, they're like, remind you remind me of floor tree type. Yes. So, and I love floor tree as well. Oh my God. Beautiful. But what I also want you to do is how do you feel about clubhouse i haven't gotten on there but you know it is what it is you get into clubhouse i don't know if i froze did i freeze i'm good okay no you're good i want you to get into clubhouse get on there and start popping into them poetry rooms and letting people hear you even if even if you come out with maybe I don't know, five poems that you'll recite in those clubs. Like one club, get this one. One club, get that one. Do that until, okay. until you build up your name. Okay. Build up your name. And then if you want to open, a, do your own show on Clubhouse. But people need to hear you in other arenas, like not just in South, you're in Charlotte, right? You said mm -hmm. Charlotte can't contain you. So you need to go to other platforms. I get being home and doing your shows yes but i recommend that you go out to other and meet other people who you may not have met yeah in, in in the realm of of your comfort zone i would say because so, those are the ones that support anyways people that don't know you support that don't know you yeah, yeah absolutely people that don't know support you and, that, and that's something that we as authors have to understand i had to understand it as well um, early on is that my biggest supporters aren't from family. Mm -hmm. They aren't my, they may not necessarily be my ideal readers, nor as a coach and publishing engineer, they're not my ideal clients. So that's okay. But yeah. When you, go out, you have to launch out into the deep and sometimes the deep isn't, or the, the shallow is where your family and friends and home and your comfort zone is, but into the deep means you have to go further far away from where home is to to get what it is that you're looking for so i strongly encourage you to hop into clubhouse i love clubhouse i've sold books in clubhouse i've sold services in clubhouse and i've gotten consultations from clubhouse speaking in those groups so okay. i'm in there under 
uh, Cole, C-O, because I couldn't do Coach Ebony Nicole, but I'm C-O Ebony Nicole. So with you, when you, not if, but when you set up your Clubhouse account, make sure you, um, I think not ping, follow me and then I'll see it and then I'll follow you back. And okay. then when I um, see clubs that I like poetry, because I got a couple of friends who do poetry. So, and they'll ping me when they hit the stage so I can come in and support them, but I'm not support them like just to hop in, but I'm, I am interested in their flow, in their words. So they ping me and I go in and, I, and I'll listen to them and the other poet, poets and poetesses, says, uh, you know, share their words. So with, so when I get in there, um, I come across any rooms if they're looking for people that can, if they have, uh, if they have where people can just come up and, and share, then, you know, I would encourage you because they can't see you because some people get afraid to be seen. But all they're doing is hearing you. So, okay. I want you to, that's a challenge for you. I usually what you, Did you say C-O? Yeah. C-O Ebony okay. Nicole. Okay. Because it's Coach Ebony Nicole, but I can't put Coach on there. It was too long, so I did C-O Ebony Nicole. But other than that, so Coach hat off, interview hat on. Had <laughs> 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 to, to switch that on for a little bit. So y'all just got, you know, you got to help your authors, man, because we we are out here on different, on the same journey, different lanes. And and I want to see everybody succeed. So, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that you'll get out there and do it. So if you... Since you just do your your poetry at home right now, what is that like for you standing in front of those audiences? And I just want to know what it's like so that other people who are poets and want to share their words, maybe just write it, but they haven't stood up in front of people yet. What is that like? Initially, I would be so nervous. Like, if I look at videos now from when I did my first one, I was just, I would be like, oh, girl, <laughs> the growth is real. Yeah. But um, now that I've gotten comfortable with it, I feel like the more comfortable you get with your pieces, then it's easier to get up in front of people and do it. So you just f shared I am woman. And oh, another thing, put it on a shirt. I am woman. I already beat you today. OK, good, because some stuff you just got to if you product and service i am woman you can yes. get your shirt in a book bundled together that is true hello somebody <laughs> okay <laughs> um, people, I, I do it don't do it all right because you when you put your i am woman shirt out please let me know because i will i am woman by okay it's on my so, website is it say no more so y'all we are going to go to she's gonna give, give us her website information at the end i want y'all to go and get the shirt okay and then take pictures she's gonna share her social media information you take pictures and tag her in it so we mm -hmm. show her that we support what she's doing and because we are women hello somebody if you have anything that what you can push an inspiring poet to do. What is that? Oh, I guess because I would tell myself this, I would travel to different places and do showcases. You would? Yes. Why aren't you? Do you? I'm not, I can't even lie. <laughs> so why why would you lie. want them to do something you you haven't done yet or is that because, something you're moving up to doing yeah i want to do it it's not that i'm scared to do it i just haven't went anywhere and done it yet but like if i've actually planned trips to places mm -hmm. that's intentional for me to actually yes. go somewhere and do an open mic or something somewhere yeah absolutely and you, okay so this one thing i remember i'll suggest to you like next time you go some to another city eventbrite.com i absolutely love them mm -hmm. i went to dc or not dc but to dallas for a weekend and i found so many things to do in uh, dallas through eventbrite and i was tired by the time i got to the plane to get home i was exhausted <laughs> i was just going it was so much to do but i would say for you look and next if you know what city you're going to look on eventbrite to see if they have any yes. open nights 
and just go and be like, bring your books. This is mm -hmm. who I am. This is what I do. Let me come bless this mic. Then I'm done. Peace. Buy my book. <laughs> Buy my book. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe, like, yo, we gotta, we gotta put it out there. Just you do. We gotta put it out there. Otherwise, people won't know. They won't yeah, know. Yeah. So, what is keeping you going? Not only as a poet, but as an author. What's that drive behind you? You said that keeps me going. Yeah. I think just knowing that I want something better than like a regular nine to five. It's mm -hmm. like, I can't do this my entire life. <laughs> I keep saying hello, somebody, because I just want to make sure people are listening. Hello, somebody. You yeah. can't, there's always greater. Always. You just have to take the risk and the chance and uh, and, and do it. Yeah. And you know, you know what? This is the fuel that's going to get me out of this nine to five. So let me take care of this this vehicle I'm in and, and get going. So what's the end result for you? What is it that you want to do? Um, Initially, I'm like, I want to be a bestseller <laughs> somewhere, you know? I don't Come know. on here. Um, I'm all for the, I don't know if I would want to teach people how to publish a book, but mm -hmm. maybe do, um, the template that I have for mine or something, you know, something like that. Um, you can sell that. The template. Mm -hmm. I even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got my paper. <laughs> Listen, now I'm, a, I'm see, I normally don't do this in in these interview sessions, but I'm going to take off my interview hat and put on my coach hat. Whatever you have accumulated in your journey to becoming a published poet, you can package and sell it to others because people want to know how to do it. Mm -hmm. That's how I be. Where's my book? My my first baby. Oh, it's all the way over there. I have my very first book, right? And that was what got me to thinking. One, I could do this again, and I did. Mm -hmm. And two, people keep people were asking me, "How did you do it? How did you do it?" Well, I only do it for myself. Then something is dropped, bing, light goes off. Girl, you can make money. Yeah, people don't know how to do it. So everything that you have accumulated thus far on your journey, put it together and sell it to other poets. That could be your niche, poets. Don't just sell it to everybody. No, <laughs> Look, poets. <laughs> other poets, because I'm quite sure. Now, when you do your shows and things like that, do people, other poets, come up to you and ask about how do you publish your book? Um, I've had a couple, but it's usually the ones like that I'm close to anyway. So, put it together, package it, put a price on it, put it on your website, promote. Actually, you want to promote before you finish it. That way you tell people it's coming. And then when it comes, you can give them an introductory rate for like a month or two, however long you want to do it. And tell them you got until May 1st to grab it for, depending on your template, I'll say 197. And then after that, it goes up to 297. But you can take and get it. Whatever your template, I don't know what your template is, but I'm just thinking, you know. But how do I distribute it? Like through... So what you can do, so is it, is your template like on your computer or mm -hmm. is it a physical thing? Okay, so it's on a computer. What you would do is, now I'm running through all this real quick. So what you would do is create it, like uh, create a PDF okay. so that they can download it. Got you. Your website. Got you. I know on my, on my website, um, I have... My website is ebonynicolesmith.com. I have a book, uh, a free ebook on there, which people can download. It's called, um, he, what it was, oh my goodness, I, I just did this like a year ago. He, he covered me in love or something like that I had did. And it's just different uh, Bible verses that Dick, that's talking, that God uses to talk to you in love. And so... I just you click on it, it's free. 
download, you get it immediately. But you would just add a price to it. So I don't know who you host your website through, but just, you know, if you can call, if you got to call customer service, call them. It's like, hey, this okay. is what I want to do. How can I do it? And they'll walk you through it. Because I had to call my web my web host and say, hey, I don't know how to do this, but this is what I want to do. And the lady, it was like an hour. I didn't care. I was so need to, I just needed to learn how oh, to do no. it. <laughs> <laughs> she taught me I needed to learn one time and that was enough. Yeah. And so now I know I can go on and immediately download or upload for people to download from my website. So that's how you would do it. Hands off. You don't have to do anything. You give them all the instructions. Then if they want, more of your time they can add they can add that on as a add a bonus you could do one hour so what i do is i do a one hour pick my brain session i call them pmb sessions pick my brain i charge 150 dollars for that and people will because they always ask how do you do how do i start how do i how do i how do i okay what you need to do is book this session we do it through the zoom it's recorded they got one hour and i'm very strict on that hour <laughs> not an hour and seven minutes. No, no, no. It's <laughs> minutes because that's what you're paying for. And so I tell them, come in ready and to, to get everything that it is that you need. And if, if after they have um, done that, you can add the um, session, whatever you want to call your session, the poetry, uh, poetry, whatever. And they can, you can have that as an, uh, an added feature on your website so like if they when they purchase the um layout or what did you call that layout what did you call it a template when they uh -huh. order the template the next thing before they go to checkout it's like a um what do they call those things um not a lead magnet what is it called upsell i believe upsell. it's called upsell. Yeah. so you can get the template and then add on or it's in an add-on i forget what it's called they can add on the one hour session with you at a discounted. So I charge 150. So like let's say you charge 150 if they do it on their own, but if they buy the template, they can get it for $97. And they get that one hour with you. So you just got a program for one. They just downloaded a template for 197 and then added an hour with you for an additional $97. You just made $300 off one client, one customer. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> Are we getting out of the nine to five rut? Listen. Yes. This is what we do as authors. So y'all know what? I am playing today. We, we about to get this author off her job. <laughs> that is the goal. Okay? I'm here for okay? it. So I know it's a lot, but if you take your time and you hash that out, strategize that out, I think you'll do very well. And if you niche it to just poets, you are a poet's publisher or a poet's something so poets can feel exclusive. So I like the poet's publisher. That's what you can call your template. The pu the publisher, the poet's publisher or something like that. And so they, they, they know that this is where to go specifically for poets. That's where they can come. They can go to you for that. So I, I hope, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram so i i want to start seeing you once you get it all together laid out this on your website i want you to definitely start promoting and pushing that and actually you don't have to put it on wait i did that backwards come create like a flyer or something and it doesn't have to be all detailed just coming soon the publisher's poet program okay or something play with the make sure uh poet or poetry is in the wording of whatever you name your program. So they know it's specific, it's specific, specific. So I can never say that because this gap gets in the way, Lord. They know that it is specifically for them. And in that way they can, they know it's coming while you're doing all the work in the back, you still promote it because they get hyped up and know it's coming and you let them know, Hey, it's going to, when you get close to the end, then that's when you drop a release date and let them know the introductory rate is going to be 199. This is everything you're going to get. Even ask questions along your journey to make sure you have everything in there that they would need. Like, Hey, if you were a poet, if you're a poet and you want to publish your book, what are some things you want to know? Everything they say they want to know, that's, that's what you make question. sure 
That's what you make sure it's in your publishing program. And then they take everything, download it, get put a cute. I would I would even suggest going to Canva and going to Canva. I love Canva. Or I'm me too. I love Canva. Okay. <laughs> Go into Canva, create your um uh your cover, and you can also you know, lay out everything in Canva because I've created workbooks and journals and everything in Canva. Mm -hmm. So you can create everything in camera, print it, and then make it something that's download. They can download and get to work. Bam. I just Bam. need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you better not sit on this money. What's wrong with you? I'm like, yeah, at this point, I just need to do it. <laughs> yes, because that's that's poets focus on poets because that's what you do and, and when you do your shows this is how, what i tell my clients to when they introduce yourself especially on a you know you're on a public platform if i because this is just dedicated to my or to organization i'm a part of but if i was doing this for my business i would give my introduction is hey i'm ebony nicole i always do hey i don't know why hey just cal calms me if I don't do hey, um, something's wrong. But I'm like, hey, you guys. That's how I always started out. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. This is Coach Ebony Nicole, the writing coach and publishing engineer. I help faith-based men and women to start and finish, design and structure, publish and release the book God gave them. If you know someone who can use my services, tell them to head on over to my website, ebonynicolesmith.com. When they fill out the intake form, tell them to make sure to leave your name on that. Because when they do and they become a client of mine, I will be sure to send you your referral bonus. See you later. That's it. That's my open. That's how I, when I go live, that's what I say. It makes me like it's a lot, but I'm giving you everything that you need to know who I am, what I do, mm -hmm. who I do it for, and the outcome. So when you are sharing you who you are, when you are sharing your publisher part your your poet your like a poetic publisher i see a poet you got to be in there somewhere a poetic publisher <laughs> or the poet's publisher give yourself a tagline name to, to build okay. on that because i go by the writing coach um so when you do that make sure you you know, say who you are what you do who you do it for and the outcome of what it is that you do and then to share it, to share it. You would be surprised. People are looking for you. They just don't know where to find. They just don't know how to find you. you I'm just, like, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> and this, okay, let me put the interview hat back on because no, I know I was not supposed to go all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> My hats come on and off. I'll be forgetting to put them back on. Let me put the interview hat back on. Okay. I, I think I I don't got my Oh, I got one more question for you. Okay. If there was one thing that you want to leave for anyone who is thinking about releasing their book of poetry, what is that one thing that you want to leave with them to to do? Besides going out there and you know traveling to other cities, what's mm -hmm. that one thing you want to you want to leave for them to do? For someone who wants to publish a book. Mm -hmm. Hmm. specifically poets because we're focusing on poets tonight look i'm just like just do it <laughs> don't second guess it like it's not that hard just do it let's do it and do you have any up to anything coming up that we should be aware of i'm working on something but so of now i'm gonna say no but i am working on trying to get like a show together a showcase uh -huh. together Hello, somebody. Well, that's something we need to know. So anybody that is in the Charlotte area can follow you on social media, which I'm going to have you share your social media information. They can follow you on social media. So when you actually put out this event, they already are, they are already aware of it. That is so true. Let people, you got to listen. I would even tell people right now in social media, hey, you guys, I'm thinking about, I'm working on, not thinking about, I'm working on putting together a showcase is coming soon. Stay tuned. What she said. <laughs> Hello, 
somebody. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Just got to put it out there. I'm going to tell you this. God said to me back in December, people cannot ignore what they see. And I'm like, what? He said, they, people cannot ignore what they see. He said, a like, a share, a comment does not equate to what has been seen. Mm -hmm. If you do not share it, then they will not see it. But if you share it, they cannot ignore what they have seen. Mm -hmm. I will never forget that because it inspired me. It gave me the fuel I needed because I was like, I don't want to flood too much. I don't want to talk to every you, everybody. Yeah, social media again, everything, mm -hmm. everything. I even told my, I have this group called Audacious Ladies. It's, called, it's an audacious mastermind group, 12 months, but we have a group called the audacious, but we call them the audacious ladies. And I said to the ladies, I said, listen, if you are doing something and you get the urge to hop on live and share something, immediately do it. Because there's somebody that's on social, that's on social media right now or will be later, that's going to need what you got to say. I said, I believe God gives us these things these little pockets of sudden burst of knowledge or sudden burst of, I should share this because people need it. Mm -hmm. So I, I would encourage you as well, when you are doing something you're like, hmm, I'm going to recite this on, on Instagram. Something you just completely made up. Just do it. You can even tell, this is copyrighted. But it's not copyrighted. It's copyrighted <laughs> later. <laughs> and you put in your caption, copyright material, copyright 2022. But then you copyright later. You write it down. You go back and watch it and write it down later. But share it. Just do would it. Would you go live for that? Like, Absolutely. If it was just a short message, you would still do the live? Okay. Yes. I did a six-minute live. I did a 15-minute live today. Because I just I have something I wanted to share. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's I want to share. So I'm about to share. This that's these platforms, this is social media. I'm gonna socially be, you're gonna socially be in these groups and, and on these platforms of people. So share what you got. You're an expert. I tell people all the time, you put on a book, now you're an expert. You can speak on these things. Mm -hmm. Let people as a poet, let people hear your voice beyond um Charlotte. Let them hear your voice across social media. And if it's if they really, if it really connect with people, they'll share it. Yeah. You know, so absolutely. Just whenever you get that urge, this would be so dope. Live. Hey, you guys, I am poetess Ashley, and I just want to share this with y'all. This poem is titled ABC UME. And go at it. That's it. That's it. So I'm gonna follow you because I want I want to see those bursts of inspirations. I want to see that burst of, you know, you know what? I should do this. I'm gonna do it. And then just go ahead and do it. Just like you want authors to just go ahead and do it. I want you to just go ahead and do it because yeah. you have nothing to lose. And like God I don't, said, I don't. You don't. And just like God said to me, they cannot ignore what they see. But if it's not out there, they can't see it. If it's out there, they saw it. Even if they don't like, share, share, comment, heart it. On Facebook, you got all the different emojis. So what? But they saw it. I know. Especially, you know it when you 700 views, but 10 likes. I'll be like, they, right. so. <laughs> <laughs> they saw y'all watching. But, and, but you know what? Even that, it doesn't. Hey, that's 700 people who laid eyes. That's why God was telling me that the likes and the shares and the comments mm -hmm. don't matter mm -hmm. because I, I thought more about it, not to, I thought more about it to make it like, yo, that makes perfect sense. Like, cause I know when I be scrolling, I'd be like, oh, that's cute and keep going. Mm -hmm. So, but if it's not out there, people can't see it it's, it's about getting in their face it doesn't matter if they like it or share it or comment on it what matters is that they saw it and so i want people to see you okay me too I, listen and they are because we're not playing you're trying to get you out of your mind to five okay so what i want you to do is tell people how can they connect with you 
Um, you can actually, if you, if you Google Ashley Nicole, A-S-H-L-E-Y, N-I-C-O-L-E, Ashley Nicole, A-N-A, all my social medias will pop up. So the Facebook, okay. Instagram, all that. It's all the same. Uh, yes, yeah. Ashley okay. Nicole, okay. A-N-A. Mm -hmm. Ashley Nicole, N-A-A. N-A-A? A-N-A. A-N-A. Yeah, I'm going to mess it up already. She just said it like 17 times. I still ain't getting it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to forget my website either. So my website <laughs> is also Ashley Nicole, but it's Ashley Nicole Designs. So it's D E S I G N Z. So designs with a Z dot com. Ashley Designs with the Z dot com. Y'all heard her here. Listen, we dropped, there's a lot of gems dropped tonight. And y'all yeah, know. I usually don't do that. <laughs> so I hope y'all pick up everything that has been dropped and not only pick it up and be like, oh, that's cute. That's pretty. That might work, but actually pick it up and put it in your crown. Yeah. Hello, somebody and keep going. So as always, you guys, I am Ebony Nicole, the vice president of the Rochester Black Office Association. And I just want to thank you again for joining us and Miss Ashley, poetess Ashley, who is going to be the poet's publisher the poetic publisher something publisher oh, poet something <laughs> just gonna work that out hash that out and i want you all to go to instagram or find her on our social media platforms follow and connect with her and just keep pushing her inspired like hey girl i'm waiting for that publishing i'm a poetess i want to write a book and i need your template and i want that one hour consult and i want that one hour poetic brain pull or whatever you want to call it because i want your expertise to help me along the way girl so yeah I'm, if you ready if you're ready reach out to her that i push her even more and be like oh i got people wanting this already they ain't even finished good go get her y'all so if you are interested in being on our podcast go to our website rockbaa.org and register it is free we are asking if you can to donate to us since we are a 501c3 not for profit organization if you can donate to us that'll be great if not we still good you still can register to join this conversation to join us on our platforms all right also find us on facebook at rock bay 2015 and on instagram rock underscore baa connect with us we want to connect with you that's all we've got today on this beautiful moment to share with this poetess slash author slash future pope of uh, not poetess future we are excited about what is going to come from her as well as from you so stay connected with us and we'll be connected with you until next time have a good one Thank you. You're very welcome.